Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to our Company Heroes 3 Italian campaign where, with Monte Cassino now secured, I'm fairly certain it's time for the rush to Rome. Folks, this turn still has a lot going for it. Pretty much all of our companies still have orders that uh, they can take advantage of, but I'm pretty sure as soon as we hit end turn, after all that's been taken care of, we're going to see some additional mission briefings with regards to what comes next. The Foggia intel attacks are still very much on our radar, but I wouldn't be surprised if they've actually been taken care of, but the game's just kind of bugging out with regards to what's supposed to happen there. Foggia hasn't been attacked in a very long time, and uh, I'm not sure exactly where potential attacks might come from as we pan on over to Foggia. You'll see the area around it has been secured, and uh, we're about to make some moves towards Benevento and uh, Larino both, so hopefully as we take care of those two settlements, all that will be taken care of, and we won't have to uh, worry about these potential attacks because, uh, well, I would rather not lose Foggia if I can avoid it. With that said, let's go ahead and uh, start moving some of our companies around and start causing some damage as well to the enemy navy that has the uh, one ship up over here. I'm not sure if we already tried attacking it this turn. Our uh, ships don't have action point indicators for some odd reason, so I, I can't recall if it happened last session. So let's try to kick this session off with an attack here. And yep, beautiful stuff. Looks like we are able to uh, attack it. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking... We could bring this ship up over here. It'll actually take two turns to do so. So you know what? We're going to keep it down over here just to spread our uh, range of support. And next turn, I'm sure we'll be able to eliminate this ship. Or maybe it'll take two turns. But either way, I I'm, I'm fairly confident that we have the upper hand over here. Meanwhile, since we are up over here, why don't we go ahead and take a look at just outside Ortona, where our special forces company can uh, level up a little bit and then wipe out the enemy company over here as well. I think we'll auto-resolve that one. I've seen some good feedback with regards to my auto-resolving in the uh, comments of the previous episode. Again, I read all the comments, folks, so if you have any thoughts or opinions, feel free to share them in the comments. They will get read. They will get taken into uh, account and consideration, and I'll uh, make future decisions based on people's... Uh, you know, thoughts and uh, and opinions on, on various decisions I've been making. But it does feel like uh, auto-resolves for the simpler battles, the less uh, consequential ones, is the way to go. Although, again, of course, if you feel differently, if uh, you don't agree with that statement, then uh, let me know down below and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll keep course correcting. I'm always open to feedback that's reasonable, obviously. Uh, but for the time being, I'm open to upgrading these guys in a way that makes sense. Decreases the company's emplacement build time. Yeah, that comes in handy. Let's go ahead and purchase that because it basically means instant construction of their emplacements, which, uh, well, it, it's come in handy in the past already, so why not? And then we can go ahead and secure Liberate as well, which means capturing locations doesn't cost an action point. Hopefully we can actually take advantage of that with these guys. And then over here, Elite Commando's trait will take four points. We only have the three, but this improves the company's movement, doubles the amount of movement points from supply. Oh, wow. Wow, you know what? Let's go ahead and save uh, the three up because with the upcoming battle, we'll have enough points to uh, to unlock this even with the auto resolve. So let's keep it at that. Let's go ahead and engage with this company here. It's unfortunate, such a shot, short distance to go. And you know what? The strength comparison isn't heavily in our favor. It's only marginally in our favor. But if we were to auto resolve, we take very little damage and we eliminate the enemy company here. And I don't think it's. Uh, uh, it's not a, it's not a crucial battle. It's not one that's uh, essential to our success. So let's auto resolve this one and uh, take the skirmish victory over here. Take that one skill point. Exit that screen. Eliminate this uh, enemy company and head on over to our skills and secure this upgrade. That'll come in handy moving forward. Increases the company's movement. That'll be great because then we can get to uh, maybe Sulmona with these guys just that much more quickly as we make our way northward. And, uh, and that would be very, very nice to have. Separately, down over here, these guys have secured Lucina. There is this enemy company over here that whatever it engages with, it'll get wiped out. So I'm not too, uh, like, hungry for it. I don't think I need to hunt it down. So we'll get the Devil's Brigade. Sorry, Devil's Brigade. Pronounce that completely wrong. We just skewed the letters. Uh, <laughs> don't know how that happened. But we're going to get the uh, Devil's Brigade moving towards Larino, I think, because uh, everyone else is moving in different directions. So, sure. What I'm thinking is we'll go ahead and pop March just to get us going that much more quickly. And uh, we'll get all the way up to Larino. Uh, I, I don't think we... Can we attack it? I don't think we can attack it this turn, right? That icon implies no. But I would like to soften it up somehow before we... Uh, before we hit it, I don't want to waste supply drops. Hmm. Just trying to figure this out. Let's 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 move up first, 
and I'm just trying to figure out how I can uh, soften it up so that the uh, Devil's Brigade can secure it next turn as opposed to having to hit it to remove the shield and only then being able to uh, to actually uh, take it, you know? Uh, we will want to heal them up as well. Not that badly damaged, but next turn we'll want to uh, heal them up. And separately down over here on the topic of other companies headed in other directions, we're going to get our armored support company moving down to hereabouts, I think. Oh, what is this? This is anti-tank emplacement. Oh, we should probably destroy it then, right? Take a look at our skills here. Do we have... No, we do not have breakthrough just quite yet up over here. It would be very nice to, to have. This is an extremely powerful uh, uh, tool, let's call it. And now I have some regrets that I didn't actually do this last turn when I had the opportunity, uh, opportunity to, sorry. And uh, now I've wasted some time. I can't sneak past you. Ooh, can I actually? I can come up this way and I might be able to sneak past him. Hmm. Hmm. Right up to there, right up to those trees. Can I get past those trees? You know what? It's pointless. Let's go ahead and uh, and, and, and get rid of this emplacement. And what we'll probably do is we'll, we'll send in a supply drop or something and, uh, and keep this armored support company moving just so we're not losing momentum. Alternatively, we could bring this airborne company northward. I was initially going to send them towards Toretto and then send a plane over here to pick them up and, and take them elsewhere. But given that delay up over here, why don't we get our airborne company here moving up towards Benevento and then what we can do is uh, we can get our airborne company up over here moving towards Venafro or perhaps uh, Agnone because Venafro and Camino can be taken care of by the Indian artillery. All right, couple moves to make. Let's go ahead and bring these boys up to here where there seems to be some cover. Might take some damage en route. I'm not going to tell them to march or anything like that. I'm not in a big rush to Get up to here, or am I? Hmm. I'm pretty sure next turn I'll be able to reach. I'm fairly confident that next turn I'll be able to reach, so I'm just leaving it for that because our attack is going to have to wait until next turn anyway, uh, unless we drop a supply drop over here, of course. Uh, back down to these guys. They're done. I suppose heal up. There's no reason not to. Like, it costs 50, uh, 50 manpower. We have 1,700, and our next uh, run of supplies is in two turns. So, uh, yeah, we'll be fine. Heal up, and you know what? Not just you, but uh, up over here, these guys, let's have you healing up as well. Yeah, they're pretty much topped up, but again, the resources it use, it's it's marginal, right? It's it's marginal. It'd be it'd be, it'd be silly not to take advantage of uh, the opportunity here, especially as we run up against this uh, machine gun bunker. Let's get these guys healing up a second time. And you know what? I should have taken a look at our skills first because I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, yeah, Train Medics is available right now. Of course, of course it is. Let's go ahead and get that and let's get uh, Rapid Construction as well. Uh, we could put down, you know what, an emplacement here. Howitzer Detachment unlocked. Let's get the Howitzer Emplacement down over here somewhere because then what we could do is we can soften Benevento up, right? We could soften Benevento up and what else could we soften up from here? Nothing needs softening up from here. Okay, cool. Let's pop you down, maybe up here. Seems like a good spot for it. Get your face in, doesn't matter, this way, I guess. And let's get you popping shots up over here. Hit Benevento once. Hmm, I'm trying to figure this out. If there's anything else worth hitting. No, nope, let's uh, hit Benevento once to soften it up. I think they have some uh, emplacements here as well. We'll hopefully cause some damage to them. Yep, there you go. And next turn, we'll hit it again and then bring in the uh, the airborne company. Up over here, how we're looking. This guy needs some uh, some striking at as well. Are we able to reach? Ah, oh, come on, just short, eh? Well, these guys should be able to place a howitzer emplacement. Where do I want to put it down? Up over here somewhere, perhaps? Thought I saw a spot somewhere up here. Or up over here. Oh, this is enemy territory, so maybe we can't. No, I, I thought I saw a spot somewhere here that... Oh, there we go. Sure, might be able to hit uh, Castel di Sangro and Agnone from here. Let's pop you down over there. We got orders. Did that happen, or do we have to travel for that? Interesting, interesting. Try it. Because it's like right at the edge there of our radius. Shouldn't be a problem. Weird. We didn't march them. We didn't do anything that would prevent their uh, emplacement from going down, so I'm not sure why it's uh, not a, a ri or appearing there. Uh, I suppose I could pop it down here instead. It takes minimal manpower, so I could pop it down here instead. That's instantaneous. Should be able to barrage up over here. 
and uh, take it next turn. We'll, we'll, we'll wait until next turn to, to do that sort of back-to-back. -back. Uh, that should be fine. But uh, separately, let's take a look at these boys. They've moved. These boys could probably use some uh, healing. And you know what? We can turn around and barrage with you, right? Yes, we can. Okay, cool. So so we have uh, we have people in place. Right, we can't heal them until next turn because they marched. Fair enough. These guys are done. These guys are done. These guys are done. And these guys are waiting for orders. I could send them up to Aquino, I suppose. Am I able to hit that with an artillery barrage? I don't think so. Howitzers are too far away. Eventually, we can hit it with, uh, with a barrage from the Indian artillery and perhaps a barrage from our uh, destroyers as well. Hmm. Yeah, we'll wait until next turn, because the Indian artillery barrage is free, so why waste, you know, munitions? Like, one destroyer bombardment costs 100, and I'm fine with spending 100. But am I fine with spending 100 plus 100 just to secure this uh, airfield? I mean, what's it going to do for me this turn? Nothing, because our, uh, our airborne company up over here is stuck in place anyway. They can't get to Trecancello, uh, and, and even if they do get to Trecancello, why would I send them down when we're trying to get up to Rome? All right, fair enough. So we'll leave that be as is, and we'll deal with Aquino later. Let's turn our attention really quickly down to here, though, where there are these little pockets of, uh, let's call it resistance. I believe those are all the pockets we've left behind outside of Benevento. Yeah, sounds good. So what we're going to do is down over here, we're actually going to use Barry to secure another company. This was suggested in the comments. It's an excellent suggestion. It's a good way to, uh, to to take care of these pockets without having to bring one of our more experienced companies all the way back to here, right? So let's go ahead and use our special forces company, I think, because what we can do with these guys is once we're done cleaning up down over here, we can get them on a plane and ship them further north much more quickly than, say, the armored company. Of course, the airborne company is an option too, but I'm feeling partial to the U.S. special forces company here. Let's go for it. These guys will come through next turn. And we have plenty of uh, population cap, so we have a lot to play with here. What about Metaponto? Can we not do anything here? No, we cannot. All right, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. And I do believe that's our turn done. Is it? I believe so. So we'll hit the end turn button, see what the AI gets up to, and then uh, move on to the uh, the next turn. Or, 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 or the next objectives. We are one move away from Aquino, so why don't we go ahead and eliminate the uh, howitzer emplacement over here can i i should be able to i should be able to let's uh let's nudge over to the side a little bit and then see yeah go for it get the munitions right why not and then uh next turn i should be able to, able to reach aquino still and if not then we'll use the um the uh, supply drop kind of tempting to use a supply drop right now on the indian artillery to roll back and take camino or to roll up and eliminate this enemy company but again i don't think the uh, ai is currently able to repair or heal so i'm not as nervous about that as i was you know earlier on in the campaign now what is why are you what are we oh right right i wanted to transport here to actually move these guys around or perhaps drop them right in a row i'm not sure what options we're going to have available to us but uh, hey there's only one way to find out and uh, that involves hitting the end turn button so let's go ahead and Hit the end turn button, shall we? Very curious what the uh, AI is going to get up to. I'm sure we're going to see some aggression here and there. And what was that? Why do they take damage there? Are they that low on supply? That's the only guess I can make. But they only just got pushed out of Monte Cassino, so it's a little surprising. I would expect them to be fully supplied. And down over here, they're going to uh, pop some shots, not do too much damage. So that works out nicely for me. And it looks like uh, these guys are moving up towards the Indian artillery. These guys seem to be moving up towards Caserta. These guys seem to be moving up towards uh, Ortona, would be my guess. What do we have here? These guys are chasing after our airborne company, maybe? What? News really? of our successful capture of the monastery has made its way to the right people. The bombing run has been cancelled. I'm glad to hear that, General. Thank you for your help. Good stuff, and now it's time to break the winter line. Commander, we've got the Krauts on the back foot, and they're retreating toward the winter line. If we can stop them before they reinforce those defenses, we'll have a clear run to Rome. The general is correct, sir. This is an opportunity to all but guarantee victory over the Germans. All right, good stuff. So uh, what took me by surprise when I hit the end turn button and, and, and before everyone started talking was the fact that the AI didn't try to attack us anywhere. There was absolutely zero aggression uh, from the AI, uh, which is, I mean, working out nicely for us. But it's time for us 
uh, to get aggressive. Well, we've been aggressive. It's time for us to continue being aggressive, I suppose. Civilian intel has been unlocked over here with uh, Valenti trusting us just that little bit more. Reveals enemy locations along the front line, showing companies and emplacements near each town, depot, and airfield. Fair enough. I don't think we'll get to Valenti's loyalty um, for the final offensive to break the winter line. I'm curious. I'm curious how that plays out because the only mission I'm seeing is at Velletri, right? Velletri is a mission. Uh, Palestrina and Subiaco, probably butchering both of those, uh, aren't labeled with missions. So is that specifically for Velletri or like what's going on here? Or after we take these three, do we automatically start a, 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 a mission that, uh, you know, would reflect our, our moves there? I'm not sure. But Rome isn't that far away. Rome isn't that far away. We got to deal with this stuff first, though. I'm not sure if our fresh airborne company is the right team to take up to Velletri, even though we're right here. It seems like a bit of a risk. I'll be perfectly honest with you. Um, <laughs> so I'll I'll have to think about that one. But separately, there are other moves that we might want to make right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what? Let's take a look at. Let's take a look at Aquino first. Sure. Let's do that first because it, it should be relatively easy for us to take it. We'll start with a destroyer bombardment up over here. Soften up a little bit. Then we'll get the Indian artillery's free bombardment up over here as well. And then this company can roll up and uh, and secure that airfield. Uh, afterwards, the Indian artillery can come down to secure Camino. Vinafro can, I suppose, wait. This company as well, I suppose, can wait. They are completely out of supplies, so they'll either be completely destroyed or they'll retreat back to Sora. Either way is fine by me. But yes, let's get the uh, improved company barrage coming down at Aquino. Eliminate some of the enemy emplacements in the area as well, ideally. And then we can roll up to, uh, to take this airfield. Good to go. Yeah, good to go. Let's move. Should be a safe enough uh, journey here. Yeah, looks good. And Aquino is... Come on. Ours. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Frosinone is our next uh, target over here, I suppose. General Buckram is pleased. We do have additional benefits we can get from Buckram here. Marston mats. Decreases the fuel and munitions cost of all aircraft abilities by 20%. Oh, that's no joke. That's actually a significant reduction. Fair enough. Okay, uh, Indian artillery down to Camino to secure this and, and get more munitions next turn. That makes sense to me. And then we can supply drop as well to, I don't know, go to Vinafro or maybe uh, maybe eliminate this company or something. Down to Camino first, though. This is our first move. And then we can uh, switch things up afterwards. Get this, get those munitions again coming through next turn, right? There's another enemy company. Let's get you upgraded, because why not? General Norton was pleased by this move too. Not sure, like I guess Norton likes it when we make moves about gaining resources and Buckram likes it when we make moves about gaining uh, like uh, airfields and, and ports. I, I don't know. I, I, I haven't uh, I haven't been paying enough attention to uh, to, spe to to figure out the uh, pattern exactly. We have the Benevento mission which we can do with this uh, green company. Ooh, I've set myself up for failure there, haven't I? <laughs> I could send the armored support up as well. Probably not a terrible idea. And what's happening up over here? Hang on. Let's take Lareno first because that one's a, a, a gimme basically, right? So why don't we go ahead and take care of that first. Now it's a barrage for 50 munitions up over here at Lareno. We'll secure this. Heal these guys up as well. Let's start with that actually. Go and heal up. Are you not firing? There we go. Beautiful. Get to it. Destroyed an enemy bunker there as well. Didn't cause any damage to relations anywhere. Let's go ahead and get Lareno secured. And then I'm, I'm kind of tempted to supply drop and move further along somewhere. Doesn't feel entirely necessary, but at the same time, that feels like such a wasted turn when we're right next to the settlement, you know? Anyway, up over here, I kind of want to get to Solmona. I mean, they, these guys can go pretty far pretty fast. They do need some healing. So let's go ahead and uh, heal yourselves up. And then maybe we make a move towards uh, Castel di Sangro. Ortona is labeled with defend, so I do worry that these guys are coming up this way. Uh, I could come down to Atessa, do the skirmish there, secure the munitions. Yeah, get the upgrade done so that next turn when we get all those resources, uh, we have the extra munitions. And then we should be able to intercept these guys. Oh, you know what? It looks like these guys are labeled for the Foggia intel attacks. Is that right? Yes. All right, cool. So what we'll do is we'll come down to Atessa, and as these guys continue to move up or to move toward they're moving away from Foggia which is what's funny to me because Foggia is like down over here but anyway 
uh, we'll, 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 we'll take a Tessa and then we'll intercept these guys on their way up to, I presume, Ortona. That should be easy enough for us to do. Okay, but before I do this, I just want, again, I just want to take care of all the easy ones first because, uh, well, why not, really? Send these guys over to here, secure Grumo, and then we can have the, the, the battle kick off after we're done dealing with all the campaign map stuff, and then it'll probably be back to back to back battles. Grumo is ours. Come on now. Secured. Go ahead and upgrade the fuel income here. Do I supply drop and, and rush down to La Terza? Kind of tempting, isn't it? We got the resources. Got the resources. How much does it cost again? 125. That seems kind of wasteful, truth be told. Okay. Up over here near, near Trey Cancello, we could try and hit some of these to secure some uh, some munitions, I suppose. A very, very concerned about hitting Velletri with this extremely green company. I, I don't don't think that's a good idea. It's a full on mission. It's a scripted mission, which means we would very much be on on, on the back foot there if things go uh, a little sideways. It would not be the strategic move to make, I don't think. Let's uh, let's let's cause some damage to some of these uh, emplacements, though. Get some of those extra munitions. And maybe maybe use them for something. I don't know. I highly doubt it. We are going to win some battles as well, and those will gain us some munitions too. Let's not forget, obviously, but. Every little bit counts, I suppose. All right, what's the deal here? These guys are going to move towards Benevento shortly. These guys are going to move towards... I guess I should turn them around and hit something else with them, right? Go up to there, I suppose. We can't hit it this turn. Move up towards Agnoni, perhaps. The Indian artillery could uh, get a supply drop and move towards... Benafro, I suppose. I, I don't think we can dance around this mechanized company, unfortunately. But if they enter our territory, we'll be able to beat them up and they'll lose supplies pretty quickly. So maybe we stay put over here and uh, and send everybody else up instead. So we have the mission at Agnoni and we have the uh, skirmish at Atessa. Let us begin with Atessa and uh, see how that plays out. Can't auto resolve this one. It has to be fought. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Let's go. Then these special forces down there are fully upgraded. They have no more uh, skills that we can spend on. Oh, don't tell me you're going to get stuck in place. No, they're just going to take some damage, and that's fine. A little bit of damage is not the end of the world. These guys are going to be A-OK -okay as we roll in, and then wait for these guys to roll up to uh, intercept them. Again, can't auto-resolve this one. Fortunately, we have our medical half-track. Unfortunately, our ship over here is apparently not able to provide support, but I think we'll be fine. The enemy mechanized company is low on ammo. They have their howitzer barrage, so we'll keep an eye out for that, but it's a skirmish. We should be fine. To the battlefield we go. Our vanguard strayed too far by. ahead of the main force and gave away our location to the enemy. We're short on reinforcements, so we'll need to hit them with everything we've got if we want to get, get out guns of this. Ready. All right, Skip, hook up the toe. All right, should be simple enough. Just got to destroy a few enemy strong points. We've dealt with these kinds of missions before, and it looks like we've got, what, a repair bunker, a Flak 36 anti-tank emplacement, which we'll have to be careful about, and a mortar bunker. Oh, that might be some trouble, actually. And, of course, all this while trying to minimize casualties. We have some additional reinforcements coming through. Sounds good to me. And I could also bring in an additional anti-tank gun towed by a vehicle that I am quite partial to. And if we take a look at the uh, vision over here, hmm, you know what? Kind of tempted to drop one of these nice and early. L let's go for it. We got vision here. Let's get some early damage done and hope that they're not able to repair too much. Looks like they're actually working on repairs right now. So this... Uh, this barrage might be optimally timed over here. Let's see what it does for us as the flares come through. Now they're going to start running away, aren't they? Come on, come on. No, don't... Ah, damn it. <laughs> well, these guys took a big hit, so that's cool. Those engineers are in a bit of trouble. These guys are taking some damage as well. Excellent. And a touch of trouble over here for this Panzer II. All right, sounds good. I mean, Panzer IV. I mean, Panzer as well. Uh, let's go ahead and apply some pressure up there, I think. Sure. Let's go for it. Creep up this way. Hopefully it's an easy enough push while these guys are still damaged. They have their engineers here, so these guys might come through to uh, get some repairs done, and I'd rather they don't. And we do have our uh, tank just chilling back over here, which I don't like. But what I was going to say was we have our uh, anti-tank gun being towed. And I wouldn't mind uh, placing it down over here or something. I, I, I think this would be a good spot for it, maybe. Let's get you rolling up to there. Get these guys set up over here and opening fire at uh, enemy armor. And uh, then we'll see how the rest of our troops roll up and, and, and what they get up to. Get you facing this way, please. Oh, crap. Just turn around. Get you out of there. Fall back, fall back. Send everybody else up. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sticky bombs right away. Took a bit of a risk here, but I think it'll be worth it. Keep falling back. Engine damage on this thing. Yeah, excellent. 
You keep falling back. Keep reversing. Keep reversing. So much panic right now. But good damage up over here. Let's go ahead and get ourselves another sticky bomb. Let's get you out of there. Let's go. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Good stuff. Wow. You know what? Excellent stuff. That worked out very nicely, actually. Got to pull back a little bit because that thing's causing us some trouble, I think. So let's pull you back to here. Let's pull all you back to here, actually. And uh, I'm, I'm actually very pleased with how that went down. Like, full-on panic there. They got a bit more aggressive than I would have anticipated, than I expected. But the uh, the pre-damage we did, I think, helped. Our, uh, our rush here worked out nicely. And we were able to eliminate both of these vehicles in uh, very quick time. That worked out very nicely uh, after a touch of panic there. And here comes our light tank. A little late to the party, but that's okay. Everyone is going to be able to heal up over here. We have enough pop cap to bring in some additional support. Let's get some commandos coming through. Probably should have done that sooner. And otherwise, let's go ahead and repair our uh, medical half-track here as well. That was extremely scary. Sorry, I mean our, uh, our, our APC. Um, that was extremely scary. That was extremely close for, for both of these vehicles. We managed to pull back just enough, just quickly enough. That could have gone horribly wrong. Let's go ahead and uh, patch these guys up. And in comes the uh, commandos as well. That'll be nice and helpful. We'll move in and, and eliminate the uh, enemy um, soon enough. I'm, I'm actually tempted to go up with... Uh, Maybe just these guys to get the job done while the repairs are happening, right? Let's let's creep up this way. Maybe we come in from the side or something, right? They have uh, some troops up over here. We know they have the uh, artillery support back over there, but it shouldn't be too much trouble for us. Repairs will not take too long. Let's get the tank moving up as well. We should be able to swarm these guys pretty easily, I think, actually. Let's creep up this way. Let's go. Let's get you moving up as well. Let's go. Almost done here. Almost done here. Let's get these commandos coming up too. Up to here, maybe. Let's get you up to there. Let's go. These guys are rolling up this way. Looking good. Nice little uh, pincer maneuver here, I suppose. Open fire. Yeah, keep at it. Looking okay. Looking okay. Maybe roll up a little bit. And send you up this way. Let's go. I imagine they'll only be able to fire in certain directions, although I can't be too sure about that. Get these guys into this building here, please. And let's keep these guys rolling up this way. Let's go. Let's keep an eye out for the breach. There it is. Pull back. Gotta play it safe there, yeah. <laughs> and as soon as they pop out, let's uh, head into this building here. Tank's doing okay. We're doing alright over here. Can I get a grenade up in here? I don't know how much work that'll actually do. Frag grenade, let's go. Good stuff, over here. Getting breached. Pop out, let's go. Get out of there, excellent. <laughs> did that just in time. But we did a decent bit of damage before they were able to get the breach out. Open fire, come on. We're good, frag grenade did nothing over here. Keep the chaffee on there. I could get the uh, flamethrower up there. I'm sure the flamethrowers will do a lot of work. Let's pull all these guys up. Man, this bunker is really holding its own, eh? Even against uh, tank fire. Can I? Can I? Nope, guess not. Let's go ahead and scoop up the uh, the munitions here, though. Definitely use that to maybe bring some additional troops in or something. Or a barrage. You firing. Where are my flamethrowers at? Let's get you in there. Come on. Flamethrower should be able to get the job done. Oh, looks like the uh, support here is doing the trick. Beautiful stuff. Needed a machine gun in there, I suppose. But the flamethrower, I'm pretty confident, would uh, finish the task as well. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. Beautiful stuff. Excellent. That's part of the mission accomplished. Casualties are, well, definitely minimized, I would say. But it's time to move on towards our uh, next target. Not sure what it is. It might be the anti-tank emplacement, I suppose. We do have our artillery-supported raiding flares. Again, the flares would give us vision. We also have some, uh, some scouts and stuff over here. So maybe let's uh, take advantage of that, right? Creep up to about... Here, let's get these commandos into this building just to give us some vision, uh, and then separately we can of course bring our uh, scouts up as well to actually pop some flares to give us additional vision. Let's go. Let's see what we can see here. Pop in, and there we go. Got a Panzer down there. Shouldn't be too much trouble, I suppose. To get our uh, anti-tank gun set up. Uh, over where? Let's get you set up like this, perhaps. Try and bait this thing up this way, if possible. I wonder if I could set this up, like, up over here somewhere. I don't know if it had, it would have uh, clean lines of fire, but... Let's get you set up over there. Mano can stay put up there. Where's my scout? There you are. Let's see if uh, if these guys can shoot from there. Yep, they can. Good stuff. Keep firing away. Get some side hits. Maybe, maybe dry aggro over here. Or maybe hit the road instead. I mean, that's an option too. Come on. Light shift here angle. There we go. Beautiful stuff. It's going to turn around. No surprise there. Could send you up here. Send you up over here. These guys are in a bit of trouble, but we'll get the uh, sticky bomb out. 
Actually, we might not need to. Let's pull you up to here. Let's save those munitions. And uh, get to work against these engineers, please. Good stuff against the tank there. Beautiful. Love to see it. And these guys got wiped as well before I could even give uh, commands. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Keep at it. Open fire here. They got some bazooka, so we got to be careful about that, obviously. Pull back a little bit, please. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Send these guys up. Let's go. Send the uh, flamethrowers up as well. Let's go. And can I roll up this way? Yeah, let's go. Vehicle in danger? Who? You? Get out of there. Get out of there. We might be stuck, though, because of uh, how surrounded we are. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Or just get repairs, at least. I, I think we're okay right now. These guys got pulled out because of a breach that I missed, but that that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Wow, they got <laughs> very quickly wrecked there. Pull these guys back. Glad I kept the uh, anti-tank uh, or anti-armor stationed here because we should be able to... Yeah, wipe that out. Good stuff. Fall back, heal up, and then we'll roll up. This is a very narrow uh, alley for everyone to be pushing through, obviously. Let's pull these guys up this way. Let's pull these guys up this way as well. We've got what? That's a howitzer emplacement? Or no, that's the uh, FLAC-36 anti-tank emplacement. Fair enough. So get these guys all repaired and healed, and then we can go ahead and rush them with just our uh, infantry, I think. Will be the right call. Yeah, let's go for it. Should be able to pull this off easily enough, I think. Still need a few more repairs on uh, on the tank, but uh, I think we're fine. Let's go. We have our flamethrower here? <laughs> yes, we do. There's the answer to that question. Come on. Really? Barely causing any damage. Must we get closer? With these guys moving up, I suppose. Looks like everything else that was protecting it has been taken care of, so it's just a matter of whittling this thing down. And then uh, moving up. We got this. This shouldn't take too much longer. The last thing they have is a repair bunker. Wonder how heavily defended that might be. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. We just barely dodged that, it looks like. But we are creeping up. Let's keep moving past you. Let's keep moving past you this way as well. Surround these guys. They're suffering from negative cover, so to speak. Open fire. Yeah, get to work. There we go. Beautiful stuff. In fact, you know what? I think these guys can come down here as well because this thing cannot rotate to look behind. Or so it seems, at least. Keep firing away. Let's pick up these munitions as well. Don't know if we can uh, bring anything else in. Need some manpower, too. Oh, there's the white phosphorus barrage as well as the artillery supported rating flares. We cannot do both, but uh, I don't mind the use of white phosphorus. Well, to be clear, in this game, I don't mind the use of white phosphorus by us against the enemy, is what I meant to say. Just to be clear, in case there was any doubt. Uh, let's get these guys repaired and uh, let's get our scouts here. Popping some flares just to see what we're up against. Flare can go pretty far. Let's get it over here. Got a decent... Uh, radius of vision as well right so this will give us a good idea of what we're uh, what we're dealing with and maybe i can drop some uh yeah barrages instead to start things off i mean not a lot of infantry here eh hmm hmm okay let's pop uh the artillery supported raiding flares instead see if we can't uh spread the love and damage a bit we'll get an anti-tank piece of equipment set up uh over here that should work out nicely able to fire at the same time as everything else. Let's get the tank moving up. Let's get you moving up over here. Let's get these guys creeping up as well. In comes the artillery barrage. Doing a touch of damage here and there. Excellent. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Bit of damage to the repair bunker as well. Not enough damage to the uh, mortar team, which is what I was kind of hoping for. Side hits coming through from the uh, anti-tank equipment over here, I think. A couple front hits are going to be needed soon as well. Oh boy, here we go. Sticky bomb time, potentially. Let's uh, be ready for it. Yeah, you know what? Go for it. Finish it off. Down goes the enemy uh, flamethrower unit as well. Good stuff here. And I think we're ready to roll out. Yeah, let's go. Send you up. These guys are holding the high ground, able to open fire. Let's send the uh, armored car up to deal with the enemy artillery back there. We should be okay. Oh, they do have... No, not for much longer. Grenade incoming. Took a bit of damage there, but we'll be okay, I think. Pull back to heal up over here. We'll send these guys up. Let's go. Scared these guys off. Excellent. And this thing is almost taken care of. Let's get you firing away, please. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Where are you headed, buddy? There's no, there, there's nowhere to run to. Nowhere to hide. Casualties were kept pretty minimal. I like the beginning where we took none, but I'll take what we got there. Uh, nice and nice and easy here. Nice and easy. Good work, man. No surprise with the victory here, but it is still nice to. Uh, to secure them, to pull off moves like the uh, pincer we opened up with and stuff like that. But hey, with this done, back to the campaign map. Good stuff. Nice and easy. Glad we secured this before, uh, you know, resources actually arrived via supply ships and stuff like that. Got a couple skill points and stuff too. Good stuff, good stuff. Across the board. 
a Tessa is ours, and again, we'll uh, intercept these guys on their way north uh, as we uh, try to prevent further Foggia intel attacks, though I don't think they'll be doing any attacking anytime soon. Good work over here. I am unable to heal the target because I do believe we did that before. We made our way down and got shot up by this machine gun bunker. That's fine. I'm not sure where that uh, defending company went off to. They probably scampered in this general direction towards Castel di Sangro. And down over here, there is another enemy company uh, which might move up to uh, try and attack us, but I'm, I'm, I'm not too concerned. Truth be told, I'm not too concerned. Down over here, our airborne company can move up towards Agnone. That'll be a full-fledged mission. I think we should be able to secure this relatively easily. And if I... I mean, if things work how I think they might work, then maybe securing Agnone will mean all of these guys start to uh, take some damage. I, I don't know if that's actually how it's going to work, but uh, hey... A man can dream, I suppose. The other option is to come down to Benevento instead. I'm not sure which mission I would rather do first. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's go with Benevento because, in theory, uh, this one was supposed to be done already a long, long time ago. And truth be told, we actually almost did this uh, in, like, episode 5 or 4 or something when we pushed all the way up to Avellino, I think it was, right? Uh, and then we just turned back before we uh, pushed any further, which is kind of funny to think back on. But uh, yes, let's deal with Benevento. And then after Benevento, we can turn our attention to Agnone up over there and uh, the, the Winter Line in Rome as well uh, as we uh, keep pushing. On which note, let's push. Ooh, of course, we took some damage there. Oh, I wouldn't mind healing before we dive into this battle, but you know what? It's a scripted mission. So I don't think uh, healing or, or or not would make that much of a difference. All we got to do is get in here and lead the way, rescue the commandos, whatever that means. We've got our howitzer barrage and a bombing run. Can we get our, yes, medical half track? Now, do I prefer the howitzer barrage or do I prefer the bombing run? See, if they have anti-air, the bombing run is a risky thing to take with us. So we're going to stick with the howitzer barrage and uh, we're going to add medical half track. I think that should work out quite nicely. The enemy company has low ammo. I don't know if that'll actually apply when it's a, a mission, but I'm sure we'll be fine either way. To the battlefield we go. Looks like we don't have a lot of time. Those men won't be able to hold out much longer. Three hours ago, one of our commando teams entered this village to retrieve some German intel. The crowds were supposed to have cleared out, but someone got their wires crossed. Now our guys are pinned down, and you're being sent in to get them back out again. We're outnumbered at the moment, so try to set up a forward barracks you can use to bring in more troops. There's chatter that the crowds are stationed near the bridges, and we know for sure they've got heavy artillery. All right, Corporal, get your men moving. Those commandos won't be able to hold out forever. We're locked and loaded. Thanks so much for Come peace on. and quiet. All right, let's roll out. I was expecting uh, a further briefing, but I guess not. <laughs> I was like sitting quietly waiting for uh, further instructions to come through, but here we are instead pushing up and uh, with a time limit no less. So let's try and get the, the work done as quickly as possible, sending the tank up this way to avoid anti-tank fire and to avoid this bazooka over here as well. Keep pushing this way, please. Let's go ahead and push behind this uh, vehicle for some cover, maybe get into this building actually. Let's get these guys into this building and let's get the flamethrower firing away. Let's get these guys moving up this way. Let's go. Tank is able to get some work done up over here. Yeah, looks like it. And are we able to secure this position? Yes, I think so. Let's go ahead and secure that and start uh, gaining some munitions nice and early. As these guys are in a bit of trouble here, these guys aren't actually able to help. Pop out. Get the sticky bomb up over here, please. Awesome some damage to the uh, tank destroyer. Would very much appreciate that. And what is our pop cap looking like? Pretty good, actually. So let's go ahead and secure this and get the uh, medical half track out as well. Firing away. Let's get these guys... Oh, they're actually pinned because of a machine gun up there. All right, this is going to be interesting. Let's get you up over there. Let's go. Let's get you coming around this way because uh, Flamethrower will do wonders against an enemy inside a uh, building. These guys are pinned. Let's go ahead and fall back, actually, because they'll retreat down to here. We're not too far away now. 
Got to keep our eyes on the, uh, the time limit as well, right? Pull over this way. What do we have here? Panzer Shrek. Wouldn't mind picking that up, please, and thank you. Anti-tank is uh, getting some work done as well. Nice to see. These guys are still sneaking around this way. These guys are in a bit of trouble. This thing's in a lot of trouble. It's already dead, in fact. Let's get these guys to fall back, and let's get the flamethrower getting some work done over here, please, before they turn around and open fire this way. Let's go. Come on, now. Come on, now. Keep at it. Yeah. Good damage. Good damage. A little bit more. And there you have it. Pull up over here this way, and let's send these guys back into this building, please. Pull you back as well. Let's go ahead and uh, heal up. And I can now send the tank up as well with some confidence because the uh, tank destroyers have been taken care of and those guys are actually retreating. Fair enough. Okay. Cool. Cool. This worked out nicely. Got to keep pushing though. There's no time to uh, waste. No time to dally. Let's get you pulling back to here to heal these guys up and then we can start moving up. Sending the Sherman up. A little uh, bit of a risk over here. I wouldn't be surprised if there's anti-tank capabilities up there. We do have our paratroopers available. That might not be a bad idea actually. You know what? They have like bazookas and stuff, right? Let's get the paratroopers coming in over there. Let's go. Coming in hot. Send these guys up. Send these guys out as well. Let's go. Try and cap that. Move everybody up. Let's go. Retrovers coming through. Oh, looks like there's nothing here, actually. Fair enough. Continue opening fire here. I was really expecting there to be, like, anti-tank or something. Oh, there's a machine gun squad up over here. That's not good. We drop right into that. <laughs> we drop right into that. Pick up those uh, munitions, please, quickly. And are they in cover? We might be in cover. Looks like we're okay. Send the tank up. Let's go. These guys are able to creep up this way, I think. Yeah, let's go. Gotta be careful here. The flamethrower creeping up this way. Let's try and draw these guys' attention down here, and then we can uh, set them ablaze, I think. Hopefully. Get you up to here. The flamethrower hiding behind. Oh, no, see, this is dangerous because they turned around to face this way. Pull over to this side. Let's go quickly, quickly, quickly. Get you set up over here. Yeah, there we go. We're hiding. We're looking good. Tank's about to open fire, I think. Get the uh, bazooka package over here, please. Could drop uh, the white phosphorus over here, I suppose. But that seems unnecessary. That seems unnecessary. These guys are in enough trouble. Still facing this way, unfortunately. It'll take a long time to get around the bend, I think. Probably better off just staying here. You're getting a lot of work done like this. Yeah, this is fine. This is just fine. Taking a touch of damage, but we do have uh, engineers here. So we should be able to repair shortly. Keep opening fire here. Bazooka package has been completed as well. Keep at it. Again, just... Taking some chip damage, it's not the end of the world. Can we fire up here with the... Uh, yes, we can. Beautiful. If I can drop the building, I'll drop the building. I'll take it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Down goes the building. Oh, it's, it's a beautiful sight. Never gets old. Never gets old. Let's repair our uh, medical vehicle here while also healing up our, uh, our engineers. And I feel like we can probably creep up that way to capture that. Let's send these guys up to secure this. See what the enemy might have. And we do have our howitzer barrage available as well. If and when we deem it necessary. I saw some infantry movement there. Germans are targeting our commandos with artillery. We need to find that gun and capture it. I think this is the gun they're talking about. Let's get the uh, howitzer barrage down over here, I suppose. Might be a little wasteful, but let's go for it. Doing okay over here. Push you up a little bit. Let's go. Yeah, this is in fact uh, the, uh, the piece of equipment they're talking about. In comes our barrage. Should get some work done there. Let's send these guys coming up this way, please. Quickly. These guys have been taken care of. Let's send these guys up here to capture that. And let's send you up to here to uh, keep applying some pressure as well. Secure some munitions, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. Secure some more munitions. Beautiful. Keep firing away. Took a lot of damage from the uh, barrage there. And comes the uh, medical half track here. Job well done. Let's go ahead and uh, secure this uh, outsir. Let's go for it. Send the tank up that way. Let's send our infantry up here to cap. And how are we looking? Still got these troops back over here because we pulled them back to uh, replenish, right? Send you up. We're doing okay over here. Let's uh, get you back. Heal up. Open fire. Oh, ho, 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 Tank got some work done there. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. All right. Excellent. This has been captured. Everyone's healing up. These guys are rolling up. Now we can really hit those Germans where it hurts. Order just came through on the all right, let's uh, secure the forward barracks, I think. Uh, still healing up a little bit. Let's get a flare up over here just to see what's in place. There might be some uh, you know, machine guns and stuff that we want to play, uh, play by ear, but uh, let's play by eye instead. I want to see what's going on here. Oh, not a lot. Really? This is all they have here? Just this one Grenadier squad? All right. Let's uh, 
It's ruined their days, I suppose. Bring the tank back as well. And the flamethrower is through. We should be able to occupy this building and open fire from up on high. Get you in here instead. Let's go. Should be easy enough to pull off. Tanks coming through. Engineers are coming through. Everyone's coming through. Yep, looking good. Gonna cover. There come the bazookas and stuff as well. Beautiful sight. In comes the tank. Not really doing much, unfortunately. Get a better angle here, I think. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Destroy their cover, keep pushing through. Send the engineers up. And these guys are being dropped real fast. Nice and easy. Let's go. Let's go ahead and secure the forward operating barracks. And uh, let's bring everybody up. Let's go. Let's not forget we have the uh, barrage support from the uh, the howitzer, right? So why don't we start firing right away? Why, 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 why waste time? Why wait? Let's uh, open fire over here. Even if they move, let's... Uh, Cause some damage if we can, right? We are securing this position. Indeed, we are. Good stuff. Let's get you positioned up there. Let's get you guys positioned up there. And let's get the anti-tank equipment setting up over here. Let's go. Here comes the uh, barrage. Looks like it's doing some work. So there's that. These guys are running away, obviously. But that's okay. Push up, push up, push up. What you set up there? There's our forward barracks secured. There's these guys scampering. Looking good. How it's a barrage. Up over here, perhaps. Just to soften that up. No need. Let's let's drop it over there. Doing okay over here. These guys uh, push up. Fair enough. <laughs> Tank's having a field day. Everyone's having a field day. Let's keep moving up. These guys moving up too. And let's get you rolling up this way. How it's a barrage did a decent bit of work. Hopefully it's... Wow. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. There's that. Send you up there. And send you up over here. I imagine once we rescue these uh, commandos, we're going to see the enemy come through with some reinforcements or something, right? That would that would make sense to me. Let's push up. Take care of the uh, enemy infantry up over there. And these guys over here as well. Should be easy enough. And then one last uh, grenadier squad that needs taken care of too. We got time. We're okay. We've reached them. Mission accomplished. Yep. Eliminate enemy squads. Oh, okay. <laughs> Simple enough mission. Right. Let's clear out the rest of those units and secure the town. Ah, here we go. Reinforcements coming through. Let's finish these guys off at least and then get behind this vehicle. How it's a barrage shortly or perhaps a rocket strike. Seems like a good idea. Go for it. Accurate enough. Oh, they have some support coming through. Maybe I should have waited for that, but we've got some bazookas over here, so we should be okay. Rocket strike did all right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Let's get the uh, howitzer barrage as well, maybe. Or, you know what? Get some of that. Beautiful white phosphorus coming through. Let's go. Pull back. Hopefully it'll do a bit of damage. These guys are able to get away, potentially, unfortunately. And it looks like this spot didn't actually get hit, which is uh, really a bummer, but it's okay. Send everybody over. Let's go. I want to pull these guys back, actually. They have been surrounded. Pull them back, pull you up. Get the howitzer barrage coming through over here. Commandos are still taking like still taking damage, so let's not get too cocky here. Not too worried about enemy reinforcements, I don't think. I think we'll be okay. Howitzer barrage is getting some work done. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Hopefully no friendly fire there. Oh, that was maybe a little danger close. Just a touch. Are we able to heal up? Where is my half track? Or are we done, actually? We might be done. Corporal, we aren't going anywhere until we have that intel. Understood. Right. We're going to hold this position and buy those men some time. The Krauts are going to be coming across the river. Get defenses set up at the bridges, and let's make sure they don't reach the town. All right. Sounds good. Set up defenses. Get these guys healed up. Uh, get this tank set up over here. There's a reason why we have access to another uh, uh, anti-tank gun here, so let's go ahead and pick that up. We have additional... Manpower as well, or I should say a pop cap available. So let's uh, let's let's be clever here. Let's get a sniper out. I might want to get uh, a mortar team out as well, potentially. You boys, let's get you up to here. Secure this angle of approach. Bit of a risk because we'll be spread out a little bit, but uh, I think it's worthwhile. And uh, let's go ahead and get you turned on. Yeah, let's go for it. For that, we got the tank here, anti-tank over here. Let's get this uh, anti-tank equipment up over here as well. Make sure these guys are all fully healed up, if possible. Get you up there. And let's get you pulling back to here to heal up as well. Let's go. That should be good. We got two anti-tank 
guns over here. I wonder if I'm being a little silly. Not placing at least one up over here. We got the bazookas coming through here though, so that should be okay. And I wonder, I wonder... I wonder about the mines. You know what? Let's go for it. I rarely use them. Maybe now's the time. Maybe now's the time. Put the mine down over here. There's our sniper as well. Get you positioned up over there. Let's go. That's going to take some time, isn't it? Ho, ho, ho. It's a bit slow. Not super slow, but it's not super fast either. Anti-tank equipment is ready to open fire. Yep. Oh, what, what is this nonsense? How'd you sneak up from behind me? So much for uh, them coming from the, uh, the, the the bridges. We got a minute still to set up our uh, defenses. So uh, we, we got some time. We got some uh, pop cap as well. You know what? I wouldn't mind an additional sniper. Maybe some additional bazooka squads wouldn't be a terrible idea either. With these guys popping down another mine over here. We got plenty of uh, munitions, right? Want to keep some safe for uh, some of the equipment here. Let's get uh, let's get an anti tank gun down over here. Sure. Just because we have two at the other location, none over here, so makes sense. We have enough munitions left over for barrages and stuff as well, so that should be good. That should be good. We got, what, 20 seconds, give or take? Cool. And we do have this howitzer as well that I need to remember how we have access to, right? Um, if I brought my engineers up over here quickly, I'd be able to set up more, like, sandbags and stuff. Might be a little too slow for that. Might be a little too late. Pull these guys... All these guys over to here. Give this sniper coming up to here. Yeah, destroy enemy tanks. No surprise there. Get this guy up here. The armor coming from the north. We need to destroy those tanks and secure this side of the bridge. AT crew standing by. Roger that. All right. Should be okay. Should be okay. Coming from the north is this general direction, so it could be either of the uh, the bridges that they use. Oh, here we go. Yeah, good shooting. Good shooting. Excellent. That's it. All right. Keep firing away. Rocket strike up over here, maybe. Or perhaps not. These guys are taking so much damage. Where's the other enemy tank, though? Is it coming through, or uh, or what's up? Oh, we, we have our sniper here as well, right? So, yeah, good stuff. Double war for barrage incoming. Where to, though? What are you trying to hit? Can I hit back? Yes, I can. Let's go for it. Shut that thing down. Not sure where... Ooh, okay, we're good. We're good. We're okay. In comes our own barrage, and here's the enemy tank. Firing away, getting some good work done. The mines have got some work done as well. Beautiful stuff. This thing's been taken care of. Now, it's not a tank, per se, but uh, that's the second one dealt with indeed. Keep firing away. Sniper back over here is able to shoot. Yep. Indeed, he is. And our work over here is nowhere near done. Got to get some more shots in. Oh, crap. That was a lot of damage. Took a lot of damage there. Let's get our uh, medical half-track over here to heal these guys up. Lost the squad down here. That's unfortunate. That's a Nebel War for getting work done. Oh, it's too bad that I sent the... Can we? Recruit from, from this distance? Not sure. Still need to hit this with, uh, with, with more barrages, eh? 30 seconds before we can go again. Fair enough. Doing okay over here. Sniper still firing away. Yep, tank's okay. Lost our scout squad here. Pull these guys back. Get out of there. Then you up to open fire. I want to bring in some uh, more paratroopers. Losing more troops than I would like, but uh, we're okay for the most part. Yeah, able to get some side hits here. Let's get a sticky bomb there as well, I think. Though I think the anti-tank equipment is uh, is doing its job. How it's a barrage up over here, and let's get the, uh, the high explosive barrage in just a second over here. Let's go. Good stuff. Enemy tanks have been destroyed. Keep these guys safe. Let's go. Firing away still. Looks like our job here is done. The enemy's retreating. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Do we have to finish these guys off? No, we don't. Good job, men. The town's ours. And sounds like the commandos finally found that intel. Let's hope it was worth the effort. Now, if I were a betting man, I'd say the intel is probably extremely outdated, considering how long ago we were supposed to uh, probably do this mission. But hey, 
Mission accomplished nonetheless. MVP Rifleman Squad over here with over 40 kills is wild to see. But uh, with that done, back to the campaign map. Pretty good nonetheless. Nice to clean some of this up. Plus, we're gaining some, uh, some, some loyalty from Valentia. I don't know if we'll get to that threshold where we actually get her support in the winter line offensive but truth be told those missions are still a bit away like it'll take us at least a couple turns to get up to them so maybe by the time we get there we will in fact have secured her uh, her, her loyalty as well but nonetheless let's go ahead and exit the screen secure benevento and see what that does for us and maybe we should also try and actually heal this uh, this company up if uh, the opportunity presents itself these guys, meanwhile, are scurrying towards Pomigliano, which, by the way, they could very easily take if they wanted to, but it doesn't look like the AI is interested in actually taking anything back from us. And it seems as though, beyond the mission, giving us some uh, loyalty here, we've separately gained some additional loyalty as well. Or maybe not. I'm not sure. But let's take a quick look over here. we got to get to that pip, which is probably a little too far away. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out soon enough. Let's go ahead and heal this company before they get in too much trouble. And let's hope that our uh, complete capture of this entire part of Italy starts causing some damage to all of these enemy emplacements and machine gun bunkers and all that good stuff. Because I, I, I simply don't understand. Um, I don't understand what's different this time versus other times. Uh, these guys are maybe able to move down to eliminate the machine gun bunker. What else could I do with you? What else is worth doing with you from uh, where you stand right now? If we pop March, we would not be able to get up to there. We would maybe be able to get up to here, but what's the point? We'd be able to get closer to these guys. They might get drawn down towards the armored support company, I suppose. Um, maybe. But you know what? I, I could actually get some supply drops done as well. Because we're one turn away from getting a bunch of resources. And if I get a supply drop down on the Indian artillery here, they might be able to eliminate this company. Guarantee that, I guess, right? So why, why, why don't we do that? Supply drop up over here. Push up, eliminate these guys, and then separately then come down to deal with Vinafro and this company as well just in case these guys manage to pull back and and and, and heal up and harass us as unlikely as I think that is uh, it wouldn't be a, a bad idea to to make 100% sure and we cannot get to Vinafro unfortunately because these guys are blocking our approach and there is no mountain pass up over here as much as it looks like it there is no mountain pass up there so let's scooch up this way eliminate that enemy company we'll just auto resolve this one no need to uh no need to actually fight it. I mean, look at that strength comparison, right? So auto-resolve that, take a touch of damage, eliminate the uh, enemy company, gain some munitions, etc., etc. All the good stuff, right? Fantastic. And separately, what else do I want to do here? Is there anything else worth pursuing? Any other reason to drop uh, supply anywhere? I'm not here. Uh, how about uh, down here on these guys? They'd be able to get down to uh, Laterza a bit more quickly, I suppose. I mean, I guess that's an option. Sure, you know what? Why not? Can we reach him is the uh, actual question, I guess. You will reach him with bombs. That's not what I need. I need a supply drop just out of reach. Don't tell me they're just out of range. They probably are, knowing my luck. Yeah, you know what? Can't hit him with a supply drop. It's fine. It's fine. We're no rush. We're in no rush. Sorry, down over here, so that's okay. Um, hmm, Okay, fair enough. I guess what we'll do then is... Uh, oh, you know what? These guys are also a part of the uh, Fogia intel attacks. So maybe I should turn around and, and chase after these guys first instead. Supply drop on you won't get you up to there, will it? Supply drop on you. Or, uh, hmm. March would get them closer. I'm, kind, I'm trying to figure out if I can eliminate both this and this company between this turn and the next turn. See, these guys are positioned to move up towards Agnone, which I think I would rather do with them. So... I guess a supply drop down over here would allow us to get closer up to here. And a supply drop on these guys or march on these guys would get them pretty close. Drawing these guys down to attack us perhaps. And then allowing us to follow through and finish them off with a follow-up skirmish. So, with that, I think, yeah, we'll get a supply drop over here. Because, I, I, again, the, the reason why I'm so insistent on using these supply drops is because... We have so many resources and additional resources are about to arrive in just a moment's time. And I don't want to end up at our cap... Uh, because I didn't use all these resources we have on hand. That would be uh, extremely unfortunate. We are just short of being able to engage. Uh, that's fine. We're going to take some damage from this machine gun bunker as we move up. That's fine as well. Let's uh, creep up as far as we can. And then we'll heal target. And then, yeah, hopefully next turn 
they'll try and hit us, we'll defeat them, then we'll follow up with a hit of our own and, uh, and eliminate them completely. And then separately, on the other side of Italy, we'll have uh, these guys pushing up to eliminate them. I don't think we're close enough for a supply drop up over here. Worth checking, I suppose. Yeah, see, we're just a little too far away. You can see the radius right there. So uh, we'll wait until next turn. Hopefully these guys are moving up towards Ortona. We'll intercept them and eliminate these guys at the same time, completing our Foggia Intel Attacks uh, secondary objective. And uh, before that, though, we'll want to get these guys up to Enyone to, uh, to get this mission done as everybody else seems to have completed their turn. All right, fair enough, folks. Looks like our task at hand involves this scripted mission. It's going to be a fantastic way to kick off the next episode. This is where we're calling it, folks. The previous episode was an exceptionally long one, so this one's going to be a regular length episode, but maybe the next one will be a long one as well. But we're making some good progress, uh, and Yone will be taken very early on next session. I expect it to be a longer, more complex mission because this is further along the campaign, you know, in terms of the expected timeline of the game. So I expect it will be a bit more of an interesting challenge and, and, and separate from Anyone, we will also be making a move, I think, towards uh, Solmona, potentially. We'll see how the interception up over here goes, but uh, that might be two missions in one session. But who knows, right? Who knows how long some of these later missions especially are going to last. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below, as always. It makes a very big difference in letting me know what people are enjoying on the channel. It lets me know what people want to see more or less of and how I should go about doing it all. But apart from that, as always, a Massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.